morning. Good morning. We are in the middle of nowhere in Tennessee. Today, we are fixing this situation. This is my tow rig, 2020 Chevy 3500. It's got this nice, beautiful bed, and uh, I made it not so beautiful. The gooseneck smacked the bed and the tailgate uh, when we got it stuck in a ditch the other day. Garbage. I looked on Facebook Marketplace, found a couple high country beds. Beds are like three grand. And then I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool if we just took off the normal bed and we threw on a flat bed? I've always wanted a dually with a flat bed. So I got to looking and I found this little shop place. They sell flatbeds and hitches and other truck stuff. They have an aluminum flatbed here, I think, hopefully, maybe. Maybe I'm in the wrong place, I really don't know. Supposedly there's an aluminum flatbed in here for us. We're gonna take this bed off, throw the aluminum flatbed on. FYI, for the people that don't know, these Chevy beds right here, this is not Bondo. Like, that's, this is factory. I guess Chevy beds, I also didn't know this either, but I guess Chevy beds are all made out of fiberglass. So when the gooseneck hits the top of the bed and paint chips off, just know that you don't own a lemon. Your your bed is just made of fiberglass. So you guys can stop commenting that. I, I don't know what you guys are trying to say that like I bought a salvage title truck or something or a pile of garbage. No, it's a brand new 2020. Well, I mean, 2020 is kind of old, but it's a brand new truck to me and it's nice. It just, I got into the bed a little bit cause I don't know how to drive at two o'clock in the morning when I'm tired and I fell into a ditch. We're gonna get it fixed. And I think it's gonna look a million times better oh, yeah. than a flat bed. I mean, it, it took a little bit of a negotiation with myself. It just looks so nice all color match and everything this bed's like really really freaking nice but everything happens for a reason so maybe the gooseneck was meant to destroy the bed in the tailgate so now we get a flat bed or it's gonna look like garbage and then i'm just gonna buy another bed and then we're just gonna not post this youtube video and nobody will ever know about it except for me and brian bro i'm kind of hyped i am hyped that bed did look really good <laughs> Jeez. last time it's gonna have a full normal truck bed. Flat bed. Flat bed. It's the move. <laughs> Your first flat bed ever. Yeah. Well, actually, no. My first truck was a flat bed. Was it? So the truck that I had in high school that my uh, my grandpa gave to me, he didn't like give it to me, but he let me drive it to high school. It was a 99 7.3 F350 dually with a wooden flat bed that we built with our own hands when I was like 14 years old. I thought it was like the shit. It had smokestacks. It was dope as shit. I got kicked out of like all the football games for doing burnouts in the parking lot. And then I crashed it in a field and then it sat all winter we had to redo like the bumper and the intercooler and a whole bunch of shit and then i sold it to my friend because he was in need of a car his name's mason and then he sold it out like the next week for like a profit and then i never saw my first truck ever again and my grandpa loki was kind of pissed but it's on the list to buy back one of these days now my chevy that is now gone <laughs> We'll have a flatbed, hopefully later today. Boss man's not here for this shop. We're not sure if we can have permission to film back there yet. So we might wait all the way until the truck's done completely, or we might be able to come by later today and give you guys an update. It'd be pretty cool to like, you know, film stuff. It's kind of like what we do for a living, but you know. Alrighty, little change of plans. The people installing the bed said that it could be done today or it could be done in the morning. And I'm not sticking around to find out which one it is. So we are at uh, the local Enterprise <laughs> getting our rental car. Which which one did we get? Got a 2841. Hell yeah. See, I told everybody that I was gonna buy an F450. That I bought an F650. <laughs> this is a gasser. It's definitely a gasser. I've been old Bilker. Well, well, well. I know. They never they said I was never gonna be anything. Look at me now. <laughs> Being you nothing you haul to get back home. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know it's cold when... <laughs> we live in Antarctica, what do you expect? Dude, this f***ing steering wheel is the size of my goddamn forehead. <laughs> Holy s***. How many miles per gallon you get? Zero. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we originally we went to a hotel, and then uh, the hotel somehow in this town in the middle of nowhere didn't have any rooms. So I was like, okay. I feel like it was a lie. I, I feel like they're racist here, honestly. I also tried to hitchhike at a local gas station. I thought it would be funny. And uh, the lady literally was like, no. And I was like, I'm not gonna rob you. I just wanna ride to the U-Haul freaking dealership. And there's no Uber. Apparently Uber here. There's one lady that does all the Uber. Her name is Daisy and uh, she sleeps until noon. So there's no Uber in this town until noon. This is awesome. This is, what an adventure, honestly. This, this day, GFP side quest has turned into U-Haul side quest. We're gonna be reviewing this U-Haul truck today. I've actually always wanted an F650. It's actually my dream truck. I grinded my whole life all the way to this point and I finally was able to rent a F650 from U-Haul. I'd like to thank all my supporters. I'd like to thank my mom, uh, my, my dog, my goldfish, 
my bird that died when I was little named Peaches. All of the above, thank you for getting me to this point in my life so I can rent this 2020 U-Haul F650 with 26,000 miles. That gets four miles per gallon. That's probably gonna be like $1,000 to get all the way back home, but <laughs> it's, it, we'll just deal with that when we get there. It's fine. I'm starving and I really want some Waffle House. And we literally have a U-Haul truck right now, so we are going to use it forever. I'm gonna do a photo shoot with it, a professional photo. I'm gonna get decked out in Louis Vuitton. Definitely use the back of this U-Haul to get rollers. I'm gonna search on Marketplace and see if I can find some wheels, maybe a motor, a transmission, anything on the way home. A truck, we can put a truck back there. Let's stop at Fitzgerald. I gotta pick up my picnic table, murder ram, and Abby's V6 Camaro. It'll probably all fit back there. That'd Could you imagine funny. opening up the U-Haul and just dumping out vehicles? That'd be funny. Surprise! Haha, <laughs> I got mail! Wow. Ah, it's actually for you. Still ain't got no checks. Oh, ah. Spacers. I knew this thing would come in handy. Well, why is there just a U-Haul here? Why is it empty? Oh. See you later, homie. <laughs> yeah! This hell's steep as hell, so we have to get all of the speed to get up of it. <laughs> hey, we made it. <laughs> Barely. Turn. <laughs> it was gonna flip. Honestly? Screw the truck. This is way more fun. Buy a bunch of U-Hauls? Yeah, who needs who needs all of these? Yeah. And besides, no, besides that one. Besides I like that? that yeah, we, we can keep that one. But everything else, that can go. Get out of here. May not have a flatbed, but it's just as fun. You guys only have two weeks left to get her into win Chili, my 2017 GMC 2500. It's got a big turbo L5P, built six-speed Allison transmission, 26 by 14 JTX Forge wheels rubbed in 33-inch Venom tires. Inside, it's got tan Denali leather interior with 2,500 stars. It's got 30 rock lights, traction bars, color match, and so much more. All you gotta do to get entered is click the link above or in the description below today. Super simple. And for a limited time, take advantage of our times two entry multiplier. This is the last entry multiplier of the entire giveaway. So if you want a good chance to win this truck, get entered today. And who knows, on January 19th, I might be giving you a call. Tell you to come pick up your new truck. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the rest of the video. You're going? Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're heading over to the shop again to pick up the Chevy. It is done. I got the pictures last night, a little sneak peek. Oh my God, this thing looks amazing in pictures. So I can't wait to see what it looks like in person. I can already tell for sure that I'm gonna wanna wrap the flatbed, uh, the little side panels. I'm gonna wrap white over those so that it matches a little better. Happy that we went with the chrome over the black, the aluminum, cause that looks sick. Oh my yeah. God. That thing is absolutely baller. Bruh. That's a badass third God, time. Lord. Damn, bro. Holy shit. Dude, this thing looks sick. Bruh. Yeah, they had to cut a little bit off the corner right here just so then the tires would not rub. And I think underneath there, they had to put like two inch spacers uh, underneath the bed, kind of like a body lift so that uh, it wouldn't hit the tires. Wasn't tall enough. This thing looks amazing. That's the man right there. He's the pro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's absolutely killing it. We got boxes now, like. Bro, yeah, you can literally put Damn. Like, all your straps in here. I can take, I can put my uh, pre-workout in here for when I go to the gym. We put hundreds of thousands of dollars in here when we go buy trucks. If that makes you mad, just throw it in there. <laughs> this thing looks amazing. Can't wait to see what about this big, ugly bag. Yeah, I know. Back, so we can see exactly what it looks like. So it's got an integrated hitch as well and the plug for the trailers. Clear taillights. You, we all know how much I love clear taillights. Shout out to CM Flatbeds. Y'all built some badass beds for sure. I've actually always wanted a CM Flatbed, specifically a skirted flatbed. For you got the railings for the straps. <laughs> the straps that we don't have to strap on this bed. Literally. I forgot them at home. Well, I wouldn't be too mad if this fell off on the highway. We don't yeah. really need it. We need to take the rock lights out of here still. He said he cut the wire and put like a- Quick detach. Little, quick, quick detach. Quick detach or whatever. So now we gotta do is, gotta put the rock lights underneath in the wheel wells. It still has the wheel lights, so we don't look too stupid rolling down the road for now. What's in there? Tail lights, rear bumper, big ass hitch, and the train horns. Oh, yeah, I forgot literally all that shit. Yeah. Okay, maybe we don't want this bed to fall off on the highway. Yeah, we'll probably kill somebody. Yeah. That, that hitch is pretty heavy. And they got the new fill neck right here, too. Oh, baller. With the, with the def, we, we filled the def. Yeah, we're going to have def. Weird. I don't know where it went. It fell off. It must have fell off when he was uh, yeah. putting the bed on. That's a hole right there. What if we did onboard air 
and then put like a little air plug right there. Yeah, air chuck. That'd be actually, that's a good idea. Bottom holes, I've done it where there's one on each side if you want to do individual That'd be cool. And then when my Hayabusa, the tire runs flat, I could just fill it up with the truck. That'd be baller. Oh, that's sick. God damn. That is baller. Hell yeah. That's I'll let you keep the bed. How much do you want for it? <laughs> 20. <laughs> without the bed. 20 without the bed? Are you smoking no. crack? You didn't I even know what... Miles are on the truck or anything. I don't care. It's fucking mad at a single cab. <laughs> this is really nice. Yeah, whenever I had my fifth gen and we G56 swapped it, they made it like a car shifter. So I wanted this real long shifter and this exact center console. So then it'd be easy to throw it into the gear. We've actually done several G56 swap, but not a fifth gen. Gotcha. Because I didn't know how the, the push button start. And yeah, all that was zero doing. out of 10 would not recommend. There was like four months in that truck of just like coding the computer to make everything work the right way. I mean, I know a guy, but it's, it's definitely not cheap. Pick this up for 13. 13K? You're yeah. about to make a freaking hit a lick off. Yeah. Freaking yeah. Brian. You see my eyes on <laughs> <laughs> that's a badass truck. I like it. Yeah, two oh, work trucks. That's your work truck. That's my work truck. Yeah. And then that's that's Brian's work truck. So I got these long ass straps because Brian can only find a fucking 50 footer. <laughs> that's access in the box. Got that mama. Well, what the fuck? A work truck. God damn. Oh, this is so good. I love it so much. <laughs> there are like five people that commented, yeah, we shouldn't do a flatbed. What were you thinking? This looks amazing. Absolute baller. Right. It's ginormous. It yeah, looks really big. I really don't know if I want to wrap it or polish the whole thing and do a coating over it so it looks like a mirror. I really don't know. It's a hard, that's like a hard decision. Yeah. I mean, polishing can, it would be like 1800 bucks or Wrap the bottom half. Wrap the bottom half and polish everything else. Yeah. Comment down below. What do you guys think? I'll, I'll, I'll hold off for a little bit and see what everybody thinks. You feel like such a pimp when you're driving this, honestly. <laughs> it looks amazing. I actually really like how that is. That, that's like so fucking yeah. cool. You need like a, a metal cap though, not a normal green one. Like the one that, uh, the... I think it's like the that one big. that you put on like a race truck that's like the little screw nozzled one. Ooh, make it a GFP diamond. Oh, that would be baller. Get a custom one, man. Yeah, it's one that like screws into right here. Oh, a big fat diamond to cover it up. Yeah. That would be baller as fuck. I've heard that these suck, but... Oh, wow. This one doesn't suck. I've heard that like flatbeds are like impossible to fill up. Feature he was showing me while you were gone. The camera mounts right here. Now. Oh, it actually works? So, yeah, it literally <laughs> right on the hitch. Yeah, <laughs> so it's super easy to back this up to a trailer now. Pull it up. Wow. Oh my god. Easy. That is so sick. Oh, it's really clean inside there too. It's off glass block of brand. And there's the plug too. Inside there? Yeah. What the bro? This is sick. Why did it take me this long to buy a freaking flatbed? I need like three more. I thought we should put one on hide because it was every, skate. Nah, that's too big. I feel like every tow rig, every truck that we're going to use as a tow rig should have a flatbed for sure. So 450? Yeah, 450 with a flatbed. Either a brand new 2023 or a 2022 limited with a flatbed. Oh, but black. Black on black. Black one and a white one. Yeah, I say wrap this bottom <laughs> half. All the flat stuff. Yeah. If it had brush wheels, this would look really good, but because it has polished wheels, I think we have to polish it all out. All this polish and then wrap all this right here. Yeah. Wrap this too or keep all this? No, bro. keep, no. It'd be hard to wrap over the welts. Yeah, so that I'm is true. Thing. So I think the welts up and then keep all this polish. Polish this, polish the big head rig. Ooh, the headache rack. Yeah. Do we polish the whole thing or do white? on the flat part right there too. So many options. This, oh my yeah. God, this is harder than I thought. Let's talk to a wrap guy about it. And he it. was telling me you can make a white one for the inside of this, that could powder coat to match the wrap. Mm. And this, you can also fire the, put this to wrap, match the wrap too. Wrap the freaking handles, wrap everything. I'm so excited. This is gonna be dope. <laughs> you don't build trucks. You're right, You're ready. I don't, I don't. It's 2024. Don't new year, new game. <laughs> new year, new game. <laughs> Got the bed unloaded with some help. This thing looks freaking sick with no bed on it. Sheesh. Oh, I love the lights up there too. And the mess it back. Oh my God, she thick. What is wrong with me? Why have I not done this before? I want everything to have a flat bed now. What, this thing? Oh yeah. Your, your truck's pretty fast, not gonna lie. It's in tune one though. And I don't know how to change the tune. What? Yeah. Well. I got this race truck up there if you guys want to go for a ride in it. It has four doors for more horse. I mean, like slow. we could all fit in it. <laughs> What's the fun in having a race truck if you don't take people for rides in it? Hmm, eeny, meeny, miny, fourth gen. <laughs> It makes me so happy. Honestly, I don't know which one's more fun to drive. This truck or Chili, the GMC. Fourth gen definitely makes more power, but you just can't beat the L5P noise. Not gonna lie. It's a hard decision. It's only tuned one, so. 
It's not that crazy. For the first 200 feet, there, there was a whole burnout. So apparently there's some kid that lives in the next town over that has a, a fast Duramax or something. It's always a fast Duramax. He said he could beat this truck in a race, so he wants to do a 40 roll, so we're gonna, we're gonna practice some 40 rolls. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Things that was still in tune one. Tune right five. Here. I feel like that would get chilly. Yeah, oh, definitely got chilly. Run on like tune three or something, just so you can give it the fucking gap sauce. Tune three. That is so dumb. This is a 40 roll and I'm going to build boost and then hit there. So done. Tune one is like take your grandma out to lunch and do like little baby burnouts. Tune three is like rip your face off. So I feel like tune five is like <laughs> overkill. Oaks, you want to get gapped? You're gonna like it. Oh yeah? Yeah, it fucks. <laughs> the thing looks extra thick now. Very. Hold on, I'll turn the rock place and shit on. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I think it takes... What's all that? Uh, the extra stuff. Oh yeah, because you don't need that. Now. Yeah. Yeah, now I got a place to put you. I can strap you down back there and then uh, we can go on road trip. 100%. <laughs> Should put a flatbed on your truck. 